எத்தனையோ பேர் இந்த உலகத்தில் ஷார்ட் ஃபிலிம் எடுப்பாங்க ஆனால் ஷார்ட் ஃபிலிம் தான் முக்கியம் அதே நம்ம ஃபாலோ பண்ணிட்டு போகணும் அப்படின்னு நிறைய பேர் இருக்காங்க ஆனால் அதே ஒரு ஸ்டெப்பிங் ஸ்டோனாக வச்சு இன்றைக்கி ஒரு சக்ஸஸ்ஃபுல் சினிமாட்டோகிராஃபராக நம்ம கூட நம்ம சிவகுமார் சார் இருக்கார் அவரோட லைஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் பற்றி நம்ம என்னென்னு கேட்போம் வணக்கம் சார் வணக்கம் சார் இன்றைக்கி நீங்கள் எங்கள் காலேஜில் வந்திருக்கீங்க ஸோ உங்களோட எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் எப்படி இருந்தது see uh, once i just came stepped inside your college there was a really a very positive vibe i can see lot of uh, people very enthusiastically have uh, designed a uh, lot of places and i can see t-shirts been made for the events that gives another aura you know that's very important at when you are on the college level that makes you to be energetic and enthusiastic to do something for the even if you are doing it wrongly also still you can actually do something and make mistakes and come back yes. and learn from that and do something uniquely so obviously failure is the mm. stepping stone to uh, success definitely yes. so sir ungloda first movie mm. video moon mm. so adu ungloda experience eppadi irundathu sir it uh, definitely it, it was a very great experience because every film i tend to learn something from it because uh, when when you keep a shot you will really don't know 100% what exactly it will give the result once you see the image later that is the impact which, when you see but when you see through the lens the impact which you get in the later point will ex- and the 100% you will not be able to figure it out when you see but when the bing, uh, with the add on of all the other 23 departments it gives another life to it so that one small thing i learned from it it's not only you what you actually shoot it's something when other departments collaborate together collage together it gives something else it gives a life so that i learned from video moon and video moon was my first film it and it was a commercial film and i'm coming from a film school to uh, f- to an assistant to another cinematographer who is going to handle it independently that was a challenging task and uh, you need to be 100% perfect in that you can't make an error there is a there a margin of error is yes. not even minimal it's zero so you have to be very perfect in what you do so for that you need to be prepared so andamari preparation i when i was doing uh, for particularly for lighting and it was a genre of uh, a genre called thriller it can the thriller comes on this film comes on the genre of thriller so for thriller you need to actually what you have to do is you have to hide and show the story so to hide them when it's open you can't hide them so you have to hide through light and shadows this plays a very important role it's called kairos kiro you say so that's the one system i used in that so when you hide particular level of uh, the character or the stage of character or the space of the character where he is and show him in a in a dark and shadow or or a light and shadow in between that you can actually play around with the story to execute it uh, and tell the story in a very right way and make them feel that uh, what exactly sh- should be felt in that particular place and that is a very interesting script which i had which has a very complex structure usually the script never has a very complex uh, structure they go for a very simple structure because that is what it's been happening for years very uniquely very rarely few scripts comes which are, which is back and forth stories with two different uh, what he called uh, flashbacks and two different three different stories coming together it's about four men and uh, two women in one night something a story like that so for it's a, it's a very unique story so you have to be prepared uh, how you have to present it in a very cinematic uh, way so for that i actually went to all the locations in the initial stage i uh, with the director with the crew and we finalized the location we took lot of stills more than 20000 stills we took to check out what are the locations fits for the story then in the crafting level i sat down and i actually break down the script into multiple parts and b- when i break down the script i i broke it down in with a context of lighting also 
So simultaneously another lighting script was forming which I actually noted down. With that lighting script actually what I did is I started making a lighting sketch for the photographs of the location where I actually uh, where the film is going to be made. So then the particular scene is going to happen at that particular time of the day because it's going to happen in one day. So you have very limited time, uh, time period or you can show a lot of time period in that but the, we can't see, uh, show a seasonal change though you can change the light turning into another medium uh, what do you call that um, the character of light changes from day to night right that portion you can actually show in that film that was one uh, great thing which I got so in a day how you are going to show the difference of light so and in the story how you are going to hide it these all things together having it in my mind I prepared a lighting uh, structure for that film with a chiaroscuro pattern and I followed a style called Baruch style which uh, came a little yearly before the renaissance period okay so that, that period if you study in the history of art you will know about it I can't brief you because we have a very limited time so once you have time please go through that the Baruch period so you will have an idea of how the composition worked, how the lighting worked, all these things. So that's how I actually used all these uh, things to get my structure of lighting into it. And I put that into my paper and that's the paper I just executed in the set. This is what it happened. So it all depends on the script how you get and that's uh, one which decides what kind of look and feel and lighting uh, ratios how you bring end of the day. Sir, you have studied electrical engineering. Mm -hmm. So, how do you get in the cinema field? And the mm -hmm. interest on that? See, actually what... Uh, uh, filmmaking... It, you can't uh, make it all of a sudden, you know. It takes time. You, you need time. You need to have a little bit of education towards it. I can't say exactly it needs an education. But you have to... Uh, know exactly about the uh, you have to know the, you have to have a deep knowledge about it but where do you get knowledge from you have to have a proper yeah. have uh, to resource to get the knowledge where you get the resource that's an educational institute that's what I choose that okay. so if you get a resource you you are an avid collector of books and you have the passion for every day spending 10 hours of time every day even whatever happens to you then you don't need to go to an institute, but that practical cannot happen. So you have to choose a place where you actually need to learn about it. It takes around 10,000 hours to craft, master in a, to become a master in a craft. So still I'm into that. Okay. I'm not attained that 10,000 hours. I haven't put that 10,000 hours in this 10 years also. So it takes a lot of time. So it's a very methodical uh, step which actually brought in me to filmmaking. It's not that overnight I thought and I just wanted to do that. Uh, even in my school days, I was very much fascinated by cinema. So in my engineering days, that kept on pushing me. But I wanted to learn it in certain method. So that's the reason I chose the institute. I studied in an uh, institute called Satyajitri Film Institute where I learned about cinematography theoretically and practically. Uh, why I'll tell you because though it's an educational institute I'm giving an interview it should not be like what I did and all what you people can do that's what the idea should be um, when you join an institute what actually you get is you get the resource you get time you actually mingle with lots of people you you actually watch a lot of films and read a lot of books if really you push yourself or else you, you will be put into a place where everybody is doing one job and you also will be doing the job because there is no other job to be done. So, and you, may, you, you can know about a lot of culture because there will be so many people around you that you learn about their own culture because you stay with them. So, these are the very important things like it's like an anthropology, you know. When you, when you know about it, then only you will know about life. Then only you will know about what to be done in the script because script has so many characters who have life, so it's all a it's all a chained process. So this one important thing is always try to get uh, some kind of a 
educational ba base for you okay some kind of a um, education to study the base of whatever you do not only cinema whatever you do that helps you to another level i'll tell you why because when you know when you read when you learn actually when you learn you learn the uh, thumb rules and any creative process you do you have to know about the thumb rules then only you will be able to break the rules so you learn the rules over there so you will be able to break the rules and you want to create something new you need to know about the history because when you create something you will be know you will feel that you have only done it first but there will be another person who would have done it so you are not creating something new so you need to know about the history to break the rules you have to know about the rules so for me if you take i i am a basically a cinematographer so for me cinematography is all about mistakes i'll say because when you break the rules it's a mistake theoretically it's a mistake and when you break the mistake consistently and maintain the consistency throughout the work you do it becomes a new thing it might be a wrong but that's what you your aesthetics will hold you so it it say it will, your intuitive will say that this is what the correct thing is so that intuition you have to follow and you have to break the rules which is actually a mistake by the thumb rules but if you consistently make that mistake it becomes a new creative uh, product so this thing you can only do when you actually have a knowledge about it so for that you get a resource from an institution you need to join an institution so if you do that it will be a methodical process and it will make you sustain for a long time yes so uh, so if lo dura ninga or successful person a irkinga so kandipa unga parents ungalku help pannirpaanga illa so avangaloda support patti engalukku solunga sir definitely uh, see when i was actually studying uh, for quite a long time you were yearning uh, cannot be possible it's impossible when you actually study unless you get some kind of a fellowship or something which is not sufficient to live in this world so see one thing you have to do is uh, your parents should be uh, supportive to you my parents were supportive to me that's a very important reason what i am executing it today i don't know whether it's success or not i don't believe in all these things but still what i'm executing which i really dreamt about that happened because their support was always there uh, their questions were very logical and that that question made me think about how i'm going to sustain this world how i'm going to do something which i'm thinking about uniquely so for that their support is very needed so you have to uh, when you want to do something unique from what other people are doing please take their support that's very important do not go against them try to convince them i try to convince them when i was down they were the only people uh, whom i can actually go and share with and i was uh, when do i i know that how much of suffering they would have gone through because we have a very unique society where uh, we have set of things for the as we say there are certain things methodically we have to do this and that we tend to break that thing that becomes a mistake for the society as i said earlier so you have to prove in that way so in that way how much psychologically or emotionally they would have gone down they would have not expressed to me yeah. but if they would have expressed it to me their own struggle or pain or the question of society i would have not been peacefully doing my work what i can do so these things and all they tend to tolerate the in the tolerance level of them for me being in this place or me doing something which i dreamt about was very much uh, what do you call that i can there is no word for that so definitely they financially they supported me uh, emotionally they supported me and because of the support only this thing i can create it so kandipa idhe maadhiri circumstances neengalo face pannirpinga ena tamil film industry la vera maari irukum hindi film industry la vera maari irukum so and the experience ungalku epdi irundhathu tamil film industry and hindi film industry, there is no difference between tamil film industry and hindi film industry though i gave an interview recently uh, regarding that but that was the con- context of that interview was little uh, grammatically changed so it tend to change the meaning of that uh, yeah. particular things which i said 
but there is no difference between a uh, work is work everywhere in the world if you if you are a farmer you do a farming in india or japan or china it's same process mm. so i don't think any change uh, but the language is different so you have to know the language that's one important thing you have to know about it uh, english is not only uh, uh, is not is not the only language is required you need to know about another languages also which actually tend to give you so much of knowledge you can go directly into that and know about what actually they say rather than translating it and understanding into another another meaning you know so see in tamil industry uh, there is a set of uh, what do you call there is a culture for that you need to understand that culture and you have to go with that culture that's the good thing if you go to china and you dress up some uniquely they will look up to you in a very unique way if you are the only person and do that if you are going the group and doing that that's a very unique that's called kind of you can call it as a revolution or something but when you are going into a culture you follow that culture you try to uh, build up that culture not that you you should not shatter the culture you should not uh, dissolve the culture or do something like that you tend to develop the culture make it a progressive culture and bombay industry or other places it has an own culture you need to understand the culture the basic of culture and try to uh, make that culture progress because of you mm-hmm. that's the only difference it takes a very few uh, months or weeks of time to understand about the culture once you are out when you know the art form mm-hmm. so that doesn't make any difference i don't think any big difference is there சார் இப்போ நீங்க புதுசா ஒரு அப்கமிங் மூவி வந்துட்டு இருக்கு இறைவி ஸோ அதுக்கு நீங்க எவ்வளோ எஃபர்ட் எடுத்திருக்கீங்க உங்களோட சர்கம்ஸ்டான்சஸ் எல்லாம் எப்படி இருக்கு இறைவி இஸ் அப்கமிங் மூவி இட்ஸ் அ வெரி ஹார்ட்ஃபுல் மூவி ஐ ஃபெல்ட் இட்ஸ் அ வெரி பொயட்டிக் மூவி தமிழ் சினிமாவில் the most happiest film i have shot till now it's going to be my fifth film i'm going to shoot till now in that five films what i'm about the iravi was the most happiest moments i had and basically when i can't talk much technically about iravi because uh, it's a very beautiful film when it get release you know about it but see uh, there are 24 crafts in filmmaking my effort is it cannot be a struggle you know my effort is what i wanted to do and other 23 crafts also have done something so collectively it's an effort and uh, that effort will bring something newly or some uniquely or make it stand out from other other product what has come this is what i can tell you about it ravi so all the best ungala upcoming movies ka enga college la kuda nariya cinematographers irukanga avungalukku neenga nariya inspiration ah irundhirukinga so avanga or nalla cinematographer ah varadhukku ungaloda tips edad okay see uh, definitely uh, i can't advise anyone because you know uh, i think students know much better than what's happening outside because they are up to the trend so what actually i did a mistakes which you don't do it that i can say uh first thing is you need to have immense patience second thing is you need to have immense patience third thing you have to have immense patience please wait for the day it comes till then what is patience is keep on repeating and going deep into one particular thing even if you get bored do that when you want to do something even anything not only cinematography anything if you are wanting to do be a farmer you do that you dig deep into that for that an example of um, paulo colos uh, one book alchemist is a very good example so when you dig deep into that you might go into a different world and come back to the same place but you will find the treasure over there itself so that one thing you ha- you people if you do it i think that will help you a lot so i'll tell you when actually it will happen everybody tries to become a creative person and wants to execute it and dreams about doing it when it will happen it will become a big question among everybody that if it takes time like being patient for how many years yeah 
you're being patient till the years how i can say is till the years how many how many years how many uh, years you need to be patient to achieve your dream or execute your dream that is you have to get the knowledge about a deep knowledge about or the awareness about the dream which you have dreamt and want to execute that particular thing when you attain the knowledge completely and your awareness is 100% about the surroundings about that particular dream which you have dreamt when it outpours from you that particular stage the one which you want to execute it will come to you that is the miracle which which will happen because you are a creator will happen so till that you have to have the patience if you break the patience it's not the fine thing so have a patient till you get that particular level of knowledge when it outpours then go and use that the outpouring is what your creativity is thank you sir ungloda ivlo busy schedule ku mathila engalukaga ninga unga time spend pannadukaga romba thanks sir and inime ungloda varapora projects ku ella all the best and thank you so much for watching thank you karunia university for calling me it's a great honor for me to be in this place i'm very excited to see all these guys in the dark but i couldn't recognize their face but very happy to be in this place